All right, just to recap on your tracking, the big bolt here on top controls the blade on both of your wheels. The brass bolt underneath here will affect your idler wheel only. So wherever you start out at, it's easiest to match your idler wheel to your pull wheel first before you start with your tracking bolt in the back. Once you have this wheel matched up in or out with your pull wheel, then you can use this one to bring both sides in or out. Now we will move on to setting the guides. It's easiest to take these out on this side. You won't be able to do it on that side because this cowling is in the way, but I find it easier just to take this out for now. And it doesn't matter which side you start on. We'll just start here for, for now. Make sure everything is loose. Got two bolts in the L bracket and two bolts on the back of the block. And what I do first, I'm gonna put pressure down on this L bracket. We're gonna to try to find our distance that we want. And what I mean by that is we want this bottom foot and top foot to be riding on this blade evenly as it runs. That is about perfect. That's all you want. So once I have figured out that I want that distance between my feet and my blade, I'll take the top foot off, drop the block down only, putting pressure on that L bracket, we will tighten down both of these bolts. Make sure this other side isn't touching your blade. And then you will come to your block and put a little bit of pressure, just enough to where your blade is up in the air just a smidge. Tighten both of those down. Take your straight edge, put it back at six inches, just like we did on setting the lead. And we're going to repeat the same thing. We want a 30 second up lead in the front. So, right here we are. A 30 second under four and a half. And in the back. We're at four and a sixteenth. So we are very quite high in the front. Whichever one of these bolts you do tighten up, you want to loosen up the other to relieve the pressure. So since we're way, way high in the front, take the pressure off the back, and tighten down the front. When you do that, it's always a good idea to come back and make sure that your block is still underneath your blade because as you adjust this, it will move down or up and whenever you adjust a whole bunch on it, it'll actually get away from the blade and then you won't be able to measure it. But we are still touching. So after you make that adjustment, just put your straight edge back up there and check it again. 
In the front, we are at four and a quarter. In the back, we are right at four and a sixteenth still. So we're needing to adjust the front just a little bit more. Just like before, take the pressure off the back, tighten up the front. You have started making adjustments. See now we're no longer touching on the bottom of our blade. So draw the block back down. Loosen up the L bracket and then we're gonna find our distance like we did in the beginning. Because that blue block, which is right here, we've already made our adjustments, so all we have to do is just figure out where we want this again, and then drop that down. And a 30 second under four and a quarter. So this side is set now. Once you get one side set, drop the block down only. And then just repeat the process on the other side. Got this other side set now, so once you have both sides set, I'll go back through and make sure that my bolts on my L bracket are both tight on each side. And you come over, doesn't matter which one you go to, and I'll lift up my block until this bottom pad is completely flush. You don't want to lift it up and or too little. Lift that up to where it's just perfectly flush. And if you tighten down a little bit at a time on these nuts, it'll keep this block from twisting. Tighten that down. And you can tap on either side of this and you can hear that there's no daylight underneath this. So for example, if this was twisted, you'd hear sound like so. You can get down below the blade if you have enough room and actually check and see if there is any daylight. So once that side is done, you can repeat the process on the other. straight edge and put it at six inches right in the middle of that pad and check for daylight on either side here as well. Do it there. And you can check here. It looks like we are just fine. Get out of the way. Take your top feet. Try not to pinch these down when you tighten this nut up. Just 
tighten them down pretty snug and just be careful that your hand doesn't slip. Once those are tight, I'll actually spin my wheels to make sure that that's not making a grinding noise or you're shaving off pieces of material on your blade. And it's running through your guys pretty smoothly. So once I have that done, start on this side. Once you got them both set and tightened down, you spun your wheel. Time to put in your guide rollers. This side. Put your blade guard, put it through first. Underneath, and these will spin. I'll take it away from me as far over as I can until I actually touch my blade. Tighten down this bolt. Just tight enough to where it will hold this guide roller in place because we don't want it snugged down just yet. Just enough to where it will hold it. And push your guide roller up as far as you can still. have just a little bit hanging down the bottom it's just easier so whenever you finally dug a groove into this all you'll have to do just loosen up this bolt and drop it down drop it down instead of pushing up so once that's set there spin that back until it's touching the blade and then I will spin until I make a full rotation that spin in that guide roll. away from the blade just a little we'll make another full rotation and here we go did not touch that time 